Reds and Crusaders, folks. Super Rugby quarterfinal this Friday. It's a miserable day here in Auckland. You can probably hear the rain. But um, hopefully it's not going to be a miserable location on Friday when the Crusaders and Reds go at it for the second week in a row. If you missed it, last week they played down in Christchurch. Same venue, same teams, 28-15 to the Crusaders in that one. And uh, yeah, they get a second crack at it. It's not that often in rugby that you legit get a second crack, especially with like at super rugby level, where you get to play the same team, you know, two times in a row. You see it occasionally in like test series and whatnot where they play best of three. Um, at this level, yeah, it's just not very common. So it'll be fascinating to see what the coaches have worked out from playing each other last week. But anyway, we're going to go through the lineups, some uh, prediction stats, and you guys can let me know your thoughts on how this one might go. Crusader finished second in the competition. 11-3 was their record. Good enough for a home quarter. The Reds kind of limped through the second half of the season. Um, didn't get a lot of wins, you know, over the Kiwi teams. And 8-6, uh, and six, good enough for seventh. So they've certainly got an uphill task, but like I mentioned, they played them last week. And looked better in the second half, right? The Crusaders had a pretty nice lead. Three tries to three points in that first half. 21-3. The Reds did win the second half with two tries to the Crusaders' one. So maybe that's a sign of optimism. The Crusaders have picked a pretty similar lineup just with the addition of a few All Blacks and Bryn Hall being back. Bryn Hall was a late scratching last week, but he is back in the lineup. Uh, Moong is back at 10. Goodhue's in at 13. Uh, Cody Taylor is back at hooker. Pretty pretty big names to be bringing back into the side. You've still got Will Jordan, who's got nine tries in this campaign. You've still got Lester Fanganuka, who's got ten tries in this campaign. You've still got Sevi Reese, who's the top guy for clean breaks in the competition. The back line is deadly. Uh, Black Adam, Matera, Whitelock, Barrett, all All Blacks in that, that Ford pack. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good Crusaders lineup, which you can say most weeks, to be fair. Uh, Bridge is on the bench, Enor's on the bench, Drummond's on the bench, so kind of switching things around from last week, like Rise, uh, Brody McAllister. In terms of the Reds, they've got some, you know, weapons of their own. I mean, Jock Campbell's got eight tries. He is still at fullback. <coughs> um, Vunivalu, the, uh, I, I keep thinking of him, because I don't follow that much league, as kind of the, uh, the Aussie Tui Vasa Sheik, in that he's in Australia trying to make his transition from, uh, from league to union you know what i mean like both these guys with these big names and reputations trying to trying to really put their best foot forward so we still haven't seen him kind of at the peak of his powers but if he's going to do it this would be the week to do it um harry wilson's the top guy for carries he's still there uh at number eight but their squad otherwise is looking mostly pretty stable uru moves to the back row from lock angus blythe gets a start liam wright gets a start ahead of uh fraser mccright who drops down to the bench. Hunter Paisami's back from his injury, but only good enough to make the uh, the bench. So Jordi Pattaya continues on in the midfield. Um, Tate McDermott's co-captain along right. Hooper also gets a start ahead of Xander this week. So it's a little bit of chopping and changing, but not real kind of wholesale changes. You know, it's unfortunate they're not, not able to bring back the likes of an Okada the same way the Crusaders have been able to bring back a Moonga, but... Uh, you know, sometimes that's just the breaks. Um, last week, the Crusaders' ball carrying was certainly more effective, um, averaging over five meters a carry to the Reds' three. That's a big difference. Um, Will Jordan had 113 meters and beat six defenders, so he was an absolute live wire. How do you keep him quiet? Kind of easy, said the dumb. But then again, Dalgunu had a pretty solid shift of his own 110 meters, five defenders beaten from him. And interestingly, Dalgunu didn't really have any drop ball, which is... Kind of uncharacteristic for him in recent times, but uh, Will Jordan did have a few that uh, went awry. Um, kicking was a big theme of the game last week. If you guys watched it, you know there was a lot of tactical kicking going on. Um, part of that was the conditions, but it was 33 kicks from the Crusaders, 31 from the Reds. The Crusaders averaged 25, so a lot more than normal. The Reds averaged 22, so a lot more than normal. So that was just the way the game was being played. Um, the Reds lineout this season has continued to struggle a wee bit. 80% is their success rate, which is too low. I feel like against the Crusaders, you need to get it. You can maybe afford to drop like one or two. Last week, they were 82%. I think they lost like four. 
too many, man. You can't be given the Crusaders free ball. Like, the Crusaders are closer to, closer to 90%. I think last week they were at, like, 92. So, they're clinical, man. You can't be giving them any chances if you're going to get a chance down to Christchurch. Um, the Crusaders mauled uh, a fair bit last week, although across the season, I think they're about twice as much as the Reds. More than five mauls a game. The Reds are, like, two-something. And they have the most efficient maul in terms of, you know, getting ball forward in Super Rugby. So, it's going to be a big weapon for the uh, Crusaders, you would imagine, in this one. Uh, unsurprisingly, the Crusaders are big-time favorites for this one. The bookies are saying 19 points. I think they said something similar last week. And the Reds, as I said, did all right in that second half. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. The Rugby Forecast algorithm, last time I checked, did not have any predictions up for this one. So we will have to kind of wait and see. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. Can you see the Reds? pulling off some kind of miracle down at Christchurch. I think they said last week during the commentary that the Reds haven't beaten the Crusaders since that Super Rugby final like a decade ago. So that's a long time between drinks if that's right. So um, yeah, Crusaders big time favorites. They've been in top form in recent times. Can they go ahead and get this one done? You guys let me know your thoughts and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon.